Hi you guys, it's Julia Creations and I'm back with another video. Hi budget babes, hi budget bros, hi everyone. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Julia Creations. I'm a financial coach that makes the budgets easy for you so you can reach your financial goals, okay? Um, I guess we having some technical difficulties today. <laughs> Hold on. My ring light does not want to be my friend, but you know what? I think the lighting's okay. I think we'll be good. So anyway, you guys, it's so like like dark outside and like stormy looking, but it's not raining. But anywho, we're not going to let that stop us from getting some budgets done today. If you guys are new here, welcome to my channel. Welcome, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. So you guys, the new year is approaching. Let's go ahead and get some debt taken care of. The quicker we start with our budget journey, the more efficient we're going to be for this upcoming year. So let's go ahead and get started with setting up a budget. This is a real budget that we're going to be doing to set up a plan to pay off some debt coming into the new year and be debt free by the summertime. So let's get into it. Let's set up a plan on how we're going to do this. If you would like to get your own personal plan, make sure you guys book your private sessions at JuliaCreations.com. Com. All the tools that we are using are is available on the YouTube shop or JuliaCreations.com. So make sure you guys go and grab yours. So the first thing we're going to do is set up our calendar. We want to write down everything that's going to be coming in and going out for the month. We're going to set this up. Then we're going to set up a monthly budget to see our overview and then break it down to a paycheck cycle so we can see how much money we can actually put in our savings each week. So let's jump straight into it. Now that we set up our bill calendar, we can go ahead and set up our monthly budget. We're going to write down all of our sources of income in here and all of our expenses. So right off the bat, we know we get paid on the 31st and we also get paid on the, let's see here. We also get our second payday on the 15th from our first source of income. So this is going to be a bi-monthly, bi-weekly, and monthly income coming in here. So we're going to do for this section, we're going to put 1031st and 1115 from this job. And this source will be a bi-monthly source, just the way those pay periods fall. So we're going to put the amount for this will be 1664 times 2 since it's gonna be on that bi-monthly schedule there. And then we're gonna go to our next source of income, which is gonna be our 220 bi-weekly every two weeks, which will be the payday of the 6th and the 20th. So we're gonna go ahead and write this on here, 11 6 and 11 20th. So this is gonna be our bi-weekly pay that's coming in. So we're gonna do with our bi-weekly pay. We're gonna go ahead and take 220 and times that by two. And then for our monthly income, which comes in once a month on the 26th here, is going to be 110. So we're gonna go ahead and put for 1126 our monthly, which is gonna be 110 times one. 
So this is perfect for the people that have multiple sources of income, you guys. A lot of you guys think the income breakdown is just if you're paid bi-weekly, so you just have a few sections. No, it's all your sources of income. So if you have job one, job two, and job number three, you're just going to go ahead and arrange that in there. If you're paid bi-weekly, you, you can put it as two weeks only, or if you're paid weekly, you'll just put weekly and then times it. So this template is made to have all of that fit in there. I know some people had some questions about that, so I hope that answers the question. So our income after tax from our first job will be $33.28. Our bi-weekly job, 220 times 2, is going to be $4.40. And then our monthly, $110 times 1, is going to be $110. Oopsie. <laughs> so now we're going to add all this up. $110 plus $440 plus 33.28 our income for the month is going to total to 38.78 all right you guys so now that we wrote our sources of income in here i'm going to go ahead and write the expenses in here so everything we wrote on this side we're going to go ahead and write in our expense category so all of our fixed bills which our bills are usually the same every month and our variables are going to be our expenses that vary each month so let's go ahead and break these down into categories and i'll be right back All right, you guys, so now that we went in and wrote all of our expenses, let's total up and see how much we're going to spend for the month. So we got home warranty, which is going to be 67, water for 58, car insurance for 107, electric for 330, phone plus Wi-Fi for 108, gas 41, our debt consolidation for 412, one medical bill for 150, a second medical bill for 123, a hospital bill for 56, a mortgage 1081, and our life insurance for 54. So right off the bat, our fixed bills are going to total to 2587. Let's go ahead and add up our variables, 145 plus 500 plus 40 plus 100 plus 500, oh, wait, hold on, car maintenance is supposed to be 50, oopsie, plus 50, not 500, this should be a 50, all right, plus 60, plus 25, plus Sam's Club for 140, and credit cards 157, all right, this is going to total us to 1217, 1217 plus 2587 is going to roughly total our expenses to 3804. All right, so our expenses total to 3804. What we're going to go ahead and do is find our cash surplus. So our cash surplus is going to be 30, our income is 3878. And we need to minus that from 3804. So 3804. So 3878 minus 3804 brings our expense or our cash surplus, the money we have left over after bills and expenses, to about $74. So we are tight on here, so we are gonna have to see what we can do to try to make some adjustments. Here are some recommendations we did speak about when I did this budget on my live stream. So we had our medical bills and our hospital bills. We wanted to see if we can do um, 
maybe a plan a plan for medical oopsie plan for medical um assistance relief if possible this is something we're going to recommend for this example or for this exact budget just to maybe get those reduced from our budget here of course our subscriptions are pretty high so maybe lower some subscriptions that we don't need so lower subs then we're also going to go ahead and reduce eating out and that would be an option as well to reduce our eating out so those are some things to think about now we're going to go ahead and break down our budget to a paycheck breakdown so let's get into that all right, you guys, so what we're going to go ahead and do is combine our incomes together. So we're usually paid on the 26th of the month as well. But in this particular um, time frame, this would be the 27th to the to the 3rd. So we're going to go ahead and set up our weeks of. So the week of is going to be October 27th to November 3rd. And this will be the week of. And then we'll write our payday of the next week will be November 4th to November 10th and November 11th to November 17th and then November 18th to what's the next following week November 18th to November 24th and then November 25th to December 1st. All right. So let's go ahead and set up our pay periods of you guys. So the first thing we're going to do to set up our pay periods of is to do how we just did that weekly template and break it down. So we're going to break this down into sections. So let's go ahead and use a highlighter. We're going to highlight this week right here. Actually, I'm going to use yellow. We're going to highlight this all the way until basically we're going to section this off all the way until the paycheck of the 15th. Since so we have a, a mixture of paydays in here, we're going to talk about how we're going to deal with the mixture of paydays. All right, you guys, perfect. So our first payday will be $16.64 and our second payday will be $220. So we're going to take the $16.64 plus $220, which is going to give us $18.84. Um, so this will be the payday of the 31st and the 6th. So we're going to say payday of uh, um, 10 31st and 11 6th. So that's the pay period we're going to be looking at which gives us a total of 1884 falling in this time frame, right? So now we need to look at all of our bills and expenses that are going to fall from that time frame. So I know you guys are thinking, well, won't that wouldn't it just be this paycheck and not this payday? No, we're going to combine both of these because all of these bills are going to fall under this breakdown here. So now we're going to go ahead and break this down and set it up here. Okay? So we're going to highlight everything that's going to fall through in this time frame here. So let's go ahead and set it up. So we got our home warranty, which is going to be 67, our lows. So we're going to go ahead and section this off in here. So we got our home warranty that's going to come out for this week. So we're going to go ahead and put this in here. So let's go ahead and put that in here. We got our home warrant for 67 will be coming out then we also have our Lowe's credit card for 10 Lowe's for 10 all right then we have our Netflix for 16 do we have any other subscriptions coming out in this time frame we sure do all right let's go ahead and add all these up so we got Netflix for 16, Apple for 3, Apple for 3 this day, 
Then we have our other subscription for nine, Prime for 15, Apple for two, and Discord for 11. So that's gonna be 59 for our subscriptions this week. Let's say subs for 59. All right, subs for 59. Then we also have our water bill coming out. So we're gonna go ahead and take care of that. Water for 58 also falls in this time frame. So water for 58. All right, and then we have our car insurance for 108. Car insurance 108. Perfect. All right. And then we have our debt consolidation for 412. It's our debt consolidation loan. All right, you guys. So the mortgage is due on the 15th. We don't have enough to use the mortgage for one whole check or it will be basically all we bring in. So we're going to split our mortgage in half with this week as well, you guys. So mortgage is going to split between this check and this check so we can make sure we cover the mortgage. So we're going to go ahead and put mortgage. And our mortgage totals to 1081. 1081 divided by 2. Is going to be 54050. So we're just gonna do 540 this week. And then on this week we'll do the 541 that falls between this week. Alright, and that's our mortgage being split. Now let's set up our variable expenses. We got everything that will fall through around this time frame. So now let's set up our variables. So meds always fall on the beginning of the month. So we're going to go ahead and put the meds on here for 25. So our meds is going to go on there. So we have groceries totaled to about 500 per month. We're going to split our groceries to 250 bi-weekly. So we're going to go ahead and put groceries here for 250 bi-weekly because the next week we don't get paid. So this next following week we don't get paid. We do basically have that 220 coming in, but we combined it with this week, so that's not going to matter. All right, so we have our groceries. Then gas is about $40 per month, so we're going to go ahead and break down our gas to $20 bi-weekly. Perfect. All right, and then our, let's see here, Sam's Club is... 150 or 140 per month. So we're going to go ahead and put Sam's here for 70. All right. And let's see here what else we got. We got the meds. We got that. We got Sam. So eating out totals about 100 per month. So we're going to do eating out as $50 bi weekly. Perfect. All right, and then what else do we have here? We have just our personal care. The car maintenance we're going to do towards the end of the month. So our personal care is 60 a month, and we're going to go ahead and break that down bi-weekly. So that would be $30 bi-weekly. All right, so let's go ahead and add everything up and see what our first week totals to. So we got our home warranty for 67 our water for 58 our car insurance for 108 our debt consolidation for 412, our mortgage for 440, I mean 540. So our fix is going to total to about 1185. Now our variables, so we have our Lowe's credit card for 10, our subscriptions for 59, our meds for 25, groceries for 250, gas for 20, Sam's for 70, eating out for 50. And personal care for 30 so that's going to total us at about 514 this week 514 plus 1185 will basically bring our expenses this week to 1699 
So what we want to do is figure out how much money we have left over after bills and expenses. We're going to go ahead and take that 1884, which is our income that's coming in between both of those paychecks and minus it from here. 1884 minus 1699 is going to be 185. That's going to go in our savings this week. So boom, just like that, we covered the first week of the month and broke it down into sections. Now we're going to go to our next week. All right, you guys. So now we're going to go ahead and go to that next week. So the next week that we're going to cover is going to be the paycheck of the 15th and the 20th. So it's going to be the same exact thing again. We're going to go ahead and cover these. Boom, 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 boom. And we're going to section off everything until the 30th because we basically get paid again on the 30th and the 26 of the month so let's see do we want to combine those incomes together let me think we're gonna we're not gonna combine that 110 we're still gonna keep it at 1884 so let's go ahead and write down our payday of so our payday of in this example will be 11 15 and What's the other one here? 11.15 um, and the 20th. Which would total us to 18.84 for our income total. So let's look at all of our bills that fall through around this time frame. So we're gonna start with our subscriptions. We have our mic subscription, our office subscription. So. Mike 20 office for seven. Then we have another subscription here, which is gonna be nine. And then we'll go ahead and add the gym to this as well for 10. And then let's see what else subscriptions we have. I'm gonna go ahead and take care of the apple with this one for two. Our other subscription for six. Then our wow subscription for 25. All right, did we get all the subscriptions? Yeah, it should be about 79. All right, so for su subscriptions this week, we're gonna go ahead and spend 79. So we have for our subscriptions total. All right, let's keep going. So we already split the other half of the mortgage. So the mortgage half, we already put that on there. Now let's go ahead and write in our credit cards. We have our Destiny credit card coming out for 49. So we'll put Destiny for 49. Destiny is gonna be 49. All right. And then we have our hospital, which is gonna be 56. So hospital for 56. All right. Hospital Hospital for 56 perfect all right, and what else do we have here coming out we have The hospital then we have our capital one for 28 Capital 128. Then we have our other medical bill, which is going to be 150. A medical bill for 150. And then we also have our second medical bill, too, which totals to 123. All right, so medical 123. I'm going to highlight both of these. Perfect. All right, and then what else do we have? We have our electric for 330. Electric for 330. I know I need to fix some of those highlighters, you guys. I didn't highlight all of those. So electric for 330. 
then we also have our indigo for 40. Then we have our Wi-Fi and phone for 108. Wi-Fi and phone for 108. All right. And I think that's mainly it. So the next following week, We'll be bringing in 110. So we're going to cover all of this with this check, you guys, because the next payday doesn't come out again until basically almost the 31st. So I think we get paid again. What will be on the 31st? Yeah. So all of this stuff will get covered with the 31st check um, or well, technically like the first. It might fall on this day since, you know. November doesn't have a 31st, unlike this week where we got this paycheck. So guys, this payday will fall again around this time. So everything in blue is what we're going to cover here. And then this payday will cover these two expenses. So we're going to use our bigger check to cover, you know, this stuff. All right. So now that we have all of our bills and expenses there, let's go ahead and set up our budget here for the week. So we got our mortgage, which is going to be 541, our hospital for 56 our medical bill for 150, our other medical bill for 123, our electric for 330, our phone plus Wi-Fi for 108. So that's going to put our fixed bills at 1308. So we are a little tight this week. This check is 1884, so we want to make sure we're still um, good to go here. So let's look at our credit cards. We're already at 1308 plus 79 plus 49 plus 28 plus 40. So we're at about 1504 already and we still have bills that are going to repeat again. So this is where we'll have to go in and adjust some stuff since we only have about $300 left. So for groceries, we're wanting to spend 500 a month. So instead of spending 500, what we're going to go ahead and do, which is about 250 every 2 weeks, we're going to break our groceries down and just put them to 200 this week to try to save some money to see if we can adjust our grocery budget to 200. All right, so then gas is $20 bi-weekly, so we're going to put gas in here again for $40 per month, $20 bi-weekly. And then we have our Sam's Club, which is $70 bi-weekly, so we'll put our Sam's in here for $70 again. And then we have our personal care again, which is $30, so we're going to put that in here. So personal we got 30 and then this next upcoming we have to put our car maintenance for 50 because that was at the end of the month so car maintain was 50 so I'm gonna squeeze that in there so now let's see what we total to so 79 plus 49 plus 28 plus 40 plus 200 plus 20 plus 70 plus 30 plus 50 it's going to be 566 566 plus 1308 is going to be 1874 so very tight week but we made it we made it all right so 1884 minus 1874 1884 minus 1874 is going to be $10 left over in our savings. But we still quoted more than our cash surplus, so there goes our 10 plus our 8 our 185. Perfect. So this other stuff is going to fall on our next payday. So let's go ahead and go to our last payday, which is the 18th to the 24th, the payday for this one is going to fall on the 26th. And this is going to be our one monthly check that we get in, which is going to be 110. So we're going to just go ahead and put this in a little purple color. So we'll cover the house gas and the credit card. So we got the house gas for 41. 
and the credit card for 30. 41 and 30. So 41 plus 30 is going to be 71. So 110 minus 71. will be $39 in our savings. So we still had a nice cash surplus, which is super nice. But I think it was mainly because the life insurance was paid in advance from the last one. So life insurance didn't come on this pay period this week. So I think that's where we have a little bit of extra money. But we did make some adjustments, so we are good to go. So let's go ahead and add up our savings here that we save for the month. 185 plus 10 plus 39 we're actually able to save 234 for the month and we did cover all of our expenses so we're good to go let's set up our debt payoff plan now all right you guys so now we're going to go ahead and set up our list of our debt with all of our credit cards um, that we have in here so we have a breakdown for those credit cards that we're working to pay off um so let's go ahead and put that on there. The only thing we're not working on right now is a consolidation because that's going to take a little bit longer. So we're starting small. So we're just going to write down the four credit cards we do have. All right, you guys. So now it is time to pay off our debt here. So I am so, so excited. Let's go ahead and set up our plan. So according to our budget here, we basically had a minimum, or not a minimum, a cash surplus according to our paycheck breakdown of $23.34. So we had some extra money um, here based off working on paying off that debt, you guys. So that's always a good thing. So what we're going to do with this debt, we're going to go ahead and pay off or with the cash surplus, we're going to go ahead and pay, pay off some debt. I cannot speak, not pay off, but pay off some debt. So what we're going to go ahead and do is take the money we have left over and we're going to do our smallest to our biggest so we can build our savings at the same time and um, work this off kind of small. But, you know, getting there to the point where we need to get. So let's go ahead and get this taken care of. I do wanna let you guys know that the clients whose budget I did this for, this is a budget I've already done. She has paid off the Lowe's card, which is the goal for November. So she's already done that and I'm so happy for her. So we paid off the Lowe's, which is gonna be $91. So 234 is what we're working on paying off for this month of November and she's already done this. So kudos to her. So 234 minus 91 is going to be 143 in our savings. So boom, there goes our savings and one card paid off. So perfect, so starting December, we no longer have to pay that $10 minimum. So we're gonna go ahead and add that $10 back into our cash surplus, which is gonna be 244. All right, so the next card we're going to work on paying off is our Capital One. Just going to be 220. And go ahead and take 244, which is our cash surplus, and minus it from 220. Just going to be $24 in our savings. All right. Boom, Capital One's paid off. So starting January, we no longer have to pay that $28 minimum. $244 plus $28 is going to be $272. All right. So we didn't work on the medical bills, you guys, just because, you know, we're focusing on the credit cards debt with the interest. And we're going to see if we can possibly get some plans for those credit cards just because this is a client that has um, medical um, conditions. So her and her part her and her partner or her husband, they um tend to have, you know, medical issues that they have to cover. So we'll work on that later. We're gonna prioritize our credit cards and see if they can get some type of plan for that to help. So hopefully we can come up with something for that. 
So now what we're going to go ahead and do, you guys, is we're going to pay off the next one. It's going to be the indigo. So the goal is to build a savings and pay off debt. So January and February, we're going to put our cash surplus together for the next two months, which is going to be 272. 272 times 2 is going to be 544. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Excuse me. I'm going to go ahead and pay off the indigo. So 544 minus 282. That's going to be our goal. It's going to be 262 in our savings. Woo, woo, woo. So that savings is slowly building while we're paying off debt. All right. Now let's go to the next one. It's going to be our destiny credit card. So starting March, we're going to go ahead and add that $40 minimum back into our cash surplus, which is going to give us $312. And once again, guys, we are paying the minimums on these credit cards. We're just rounding up to cover any interest that accumulated. Because so it's almost like when you're paying the interest, it's like nothing's moving. So that's why we're starting from the beginning and using our minimum payments as our interest barrier. So it's going to take us about two months to go ahead and pay off the credit one. So we're going to combine our cash surplus for the next two months. 312 times two is going to be 624. We'll go ahead and pay off credit one. Sorry, guys, if I'm moving a little fast, you might just want to rewind if you have any questions or if I'm going too fast. I have some clients coming, so I'm trying to make sure I get this video recorded before my private sessions. <laughs> So I'm, I'm speeding here a little bit, but still trying to make sure everything's correct. All right, so we'll pay off our credit one. All right, so in January, March, April, May, starting May. I'm going to go ahead and take this 312. Now we're going to add that credit one minimum of $30 back into our cash surplus, which is going to be $342. 342 is going to be our new cash surplus, May and June. Go ahead and combine that 342. 342 times 2 is going to be 684. With 684, we're going to go ahead and pay off the... Um, oh, wait, we did pay off the credit one. Yeah, let me slow my butt down. So we're going to go ahead and... Um, I added the minimum back in there, right? Yeah. We're going to go ahead and pay off the destiny. So it's going to take three months, July. Plus 342. It's going to give us 1026. And we're going to pay off Destiny, which has a balance of 987. Thirty-nine in our savings, and woot woot woot, so we'll be free of those credit cards by August. So August will be debt free of these, but technically not fully debt free, but debt free of this stuff until we can work on the other stuff. That um, consolidation loan, we didn't look at that yet. Um, so what? We'll possibly be working on that and hopefully we can have a medical situation reduced with this so we can start prioritizing those but this is what I'm going to have this client start with for now so 342 plus 49 and she's doing pretty good she's already got one credit card paid off so that's always good so 391 is going to be our new cash surplus and now we can start building that savings and contributing towards any of those medical bills that we may need to do awesome you guys so that is our plan so thank you guys so much for watching this is how we set up a budget and adjust things to make sure we're able to build our savings and um cut expenses where we can to potentially save some money and work everything out so that's our calendar our monthly budget we wind up being able to have more money left over which is amazing splitting those bills definitely did help and at first i was a little spectacle about this budget because i was like mm, 
it seems like we're having such a bigger cash surplus than we attended but no it all worked out so this client has already paid off a card so that means we're doing good on schedule so we're gonna keep uh, keep you guys updated on how this goes and i'm so excited for her thank thank i'm thankful for her trusting for trusting me to be a part of her and her husband's budget journey so once again guys make sure you book your consultations and you grab yourself a planner so you can be on track for the new year nothing changes if nothing changes if you don't start now so make sure you guys are going to get the things you need and the resources so you can start thank you guys again for watching make sure you hit that like button and make sure you subscribe bye